Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 4 Criminal Part number 29. We got Kansas and Charlotte in this part, so not quite sure how it will go. I think Charlotte would be easier than Kansas, but I'm not totally sure. But settings, we'll look at this like usual and go over everything. So, same stuff as per usual. And other than that, we're just trying to bake up money to just get a 100 engine for the car. And then probably get a road course chassis and then get a hundred air on suspension. And that's really about the last couple of things we have left to do. But that's a good ways away. It's like 200k. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a ways. So. Uh, point standings, we're good. We got two wins and we're in it at the moment. We have the most wins of the season. So uh, yeah, we're, we're looking good. We, I, I, we're pretty much a sure bet to be in the chase at this point, which is us getting that second win. So all we have to do now is just try to build up a build up stage points and playoff points and all that stuff and try to go into it, the, the chase strong. So uh, yeah, let's we'll just get into qualifying and see where we start. Off turn four, it, it, it seems like an okay lap time, but we're definitely not gonna get our top five goal position thing. 32-4, so yeah, not, not too far off. And we're 13th on the inside line, so. That's nice. So yeah, it's going to be a, probably a really tough race, judging. And of course, Clay Greenfield's right behind, like beside me. That's why not? Dylan Lupton on pole. That's even more bizarre. Uh, okay, we're still 13th. That's good. So what I'm going to imagine it's going to be just like how a lot of these mile and a half races go. Dylan, Dylan Lupton is fast, and he got the pole. Who would have thought? And Jennifer Joe Cobb is a trash driver, apparently, so thank you. Well, it's going to go like a lot of these mile and a halfs usually go. It's just kind of have a shitty first couple laps, and then it eventually starts to go in, maybe about halfway through the fuel run, so in about six laps. So, yeah, that's, that's just kind of how it always sort of plays out. So, all we got to do is just try to keep this truck to the bottom lane or middle groove and keep ourselves in the draft and just wait just wait until their their tires start to fall off already already Dylan Lupton lost the lead that is pretty funny but now okay I just gave up the bottom lane Grand and fingers not gonna take it okay well this, you know, I mean, this is pretty intense not gonna lie I mean, we are just all jammed together very tightly and we'll keep that truck to the bottom and we're doing good. It does seem like we have adequate pace. And oh, oh God, <laughs> Stuart Friesen. I'm sorry, Johnny Sauter. I I didn't know he was up there. Well, Sheldon Creed's kind of slowing down. Austin Hill's down, gotten really fast. But I think the outside lane may actually kind of work here. At least at the well. I mean, I didn't lose spots, so there's that. But yeah, it's about six laps in, and this is usually when I think. Right around halfway through the fuel run, that's when they start to, to fall off, and that's where we can kind of gain our time a little bit. So, sooner or later, we could get by Austin Hill, but I think that'll be it, and then we'll just kind of get six. Which, again, is not bad. It's just, our truck's just not all the way there to being a great yet. Oh my god, we're actually going to make a pass on the outside. That's beautiful. Well, huh, yeah, we did it. Well, holy crap. Well, not not quite entirely, but yeah, I called it. We'll get sixth in the stage. I, I'm just a mind reader. I just know it all too well at this point. Sixth place in the stage. We Actually, our tires were starting to get really worn. The rights were at like 18%, so I think we'll be good. If it comes down to a pit stop, but we don't really have to worry about that. So everybody's taking four tires in the field. We'll do the same, and then we'll see what we cycle out. Actually... Are you kidding me? First place! Good... Oh my... Ugh, I'm always amazed. Damn, I got no words. That that pit crew upgrade is disgusting. Well, unfortunately, it's going to be kind of like a lot of the stages in the past where we'll lead a couple laps, fall back to like 7th to 10th possibly, and go from there. I wish it was more un unpredictable, but that's usually how it kind of goes. Not quite seventh, but it is fifth, and it took three laps, so. Yeah, it's, again, truck's 
good. It's just not like winning <laughs> speed, I guess. I, I don't know how else to put it. So I guess we can expect a top 10 run out of this thing, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, I just can't do much more with uh, what I have at the moment. Well, it's good to know Brett Moffat can uh, make the outside line work. Whenever I try it, I don't really get, oh, I don't know what I, it, I was right. I was almost seventh. I was close. I'm trying. It's, it's even this deep into a run. We're just not even really closing in on them. So, yeah, that's, that sucks. Well, we gained a tenth there, so, I, I don't know. It's just not looking good. Off turn four, and finally, we're actually closing in. I don't know if it's because I went to the outside there and it helped out a, a ton or what, but it was starting to come to, come to life there. So, sixth in the stage again. Pretty typical, solid run there. And, well, now we just kind of have to have this final stage go green pretty much all the way, and that's the only chance we have of winning, so we really have to just, like, like a lot of these races, just bank on it going our way it, a lot. We get, it's amazing how much spots we gain, though. My God, four spots. Well, I'll take it. It's just a shame that you know, we can't really hold it for more than two laps, even. I don't even know if we'll even uh, clear craft in going into one. So it's 20 laps, 12 in the field, so we'll be a very clear cut, just one stop from here. As I actually do clear crafting. Wow, was not sure if I would be able to pull that off, but we got Brett Moffat. No, that's awesome, hell. No. Well, either it doesn't really matter. Either way, one of them are gonna just drive right by me in like the next couple laps, and I'll fall back to sixth or seventh, like last time. You know, I'm uh, quite impressed with this run. The outside line is working a crap ton. Like off the corners, we gain about a tenth. Also helps too that Dylan Upton's racing Austin Hill pretty hard, but we're holding our own. I mean, that's more than two laps. That is uh, a record. It couldn't last forever. Brett Moffat gets biased. We're trying to side draft them. It's not really working. And, well, we almost led four laps. That is pretty good on its own, so I'm, I'm proud of myself. Ooh, we got to run the outside, and I think that's a... I think we got draft from Moffitt. I don't really know, but we got second. And the outside line is kind of working. I'm, I'm so proud of this game. That's beautiful. And yeah, we took back second. I... I really didn't think I would gain any more spots. I was expecting to drop back, but we're fighting pretty damn good. I don't... I don't is it just me using the outside line, or... I, I don't know, but... Either way, this is... I like it. Oh my, this is, this is starting to get disgusting. But at the same time, I like it. A great run off turn four. And we'll lead that lap barely. And we'll be pitting in the next couple laps. But yeah, we're gonna just straight out just straight up just take the lead back i i'm i'm shocked i was really expecting it to be very typical and not really have much of a chance to do anything in this part of the run but i was really mistaken the outside line really does help out a crap ton offline i knew offline or online but offline i wasn't sure but i was proven wrong today we'll pit this time just because our tire wears at or our fuel's at one lap left, so it's gonna go down. Never mind. Well, that's not at all what I wanted. Again, we're good on the, on the long run, but short run, we just don't have it. Oh, that's gonna kill us, because we're gonna be starting back with like eight or seven laps to go. That's just not enough time. There goes our race, pretty much. Again, if it just went green, we probably could have won it. And, it's, and it always happens. It feels like it, though. Damn, and that, th there goes our win. Like, I it's just, it's frustrating. Seven to go, okay. Well, we do get a good launch out the start. I'm gonna try to use the outside line again, or maybe in three and four, but yeah, it's just, it's not enough time. We can maybe get top five, but winning the race, though, I just don't see that happening. 
Next run off turn four, and that gains is an extra tenth. So every little bit helps right now, especially if the leaders or people behind me start racing. Which will gain us a lot. And it does seem to be kind of the case. So that's good. We just need to just keep using the high lane, I guess. I, I don't know, but it did even it did seem like doing that did save our tires too, so. Yeah, we're just gonna keep doing this and I don't know. Try to win. I I don't know. That's weird to say, because I just didn't think that would be a factor. Ooh, Stuart Friesen's there. He's right there. We only have like three to go, four to go, something like that. At this point, like I couldn't go go full throttle on the outside for maybe about a lap or two, and then after that point I have to crack it a little bit and I'm gonna lose the lead and that's gonna break my heart. I'm trying to side draft him. Trying everything I can to, to pull him back. And I don't know. It's just. It. Ah, oh, it's just so frustrating. Because we're so damn close. And it just. They just got more speed. I just. I just wish that went green all the way. Because we probably had a chance to win that. Nope. Oh, there I go. I choked it. I just kind of put it in the wall. I, I tried too damn hard. I had to, I had to go all out, and I, I pulled the Stuart Friesen a little bit. I mean, I choked, but then again, the Stuart Friesen have like 16 truck wins. I don't think so. I'm gonna give it everything I can this last lap, but again, we just don't have enough at this moment. Like, give it a few more laps, we probably would, but it just sucks. I'm trying everything I can. Stuart Friesen did something there. What? I, are we really gonna have a chance at this? No, no, wait. Oh, that was really close. <laughs> I was shocked. I was on. I was. I for a split second there, I thought I had an actual chance. Damn it! Stuart Friesen with the win. Jordan Anderson, nice, nice, and yeah, that's just. I don't even know what to say. It did seem like that last lap we were. But we're gonna have a chance. If that just went, oh, if we had more laps, could have been a different story. But that's with a 95 everything. If we had 100 across the board, we probably would have won that without much of a problem. But yeah, uh, good payout, good everything there. That's 43 grand, 43,000, and then was up to third in the standings. And we're still a good bit back from Harrison Burton. But Stuart Friesen does have a win, so now he's locked in. So good for him and. On the Charlotte. Well, we led the most laps. I really didn't expect that, but I'll take it. I gotta imagine our equipment should be in pretty good condition. I mean, we didn't really hit any. Smooth driving, yep. No, smooth. Yeah, great job. So, 111,000 in the bank, so we're a little bit, not quite halfway, but we're like 35, 40% there to getting a, an engine upgrade, which thinking about yeah well yeah i said that i wanted to get an engine upgrade and then i wanted to get the chassis the whatever thing and yeah so dylan lupton uh we're not going fishing no it's dylan lupton when are these drivers gonna learn that i didn't take you out johnny solder go cry a river go go cry in the dylan lupton's liver liver what <laughs> river they both sound the same i'm no you're not no Sir Friesen, no. Usually been pretty good, but no. The, the flirting has got to stop. Like, it's just it's just gotten too extreme. So, we go to Charlotte. And I think we have a good chance to win. I got a, I got a really good feeling about it. So, I'm just going to upgrade the truck, put things in, and not really upgrade, just put things in. That's what I was trying to say. We'll go into Charlotte with 95 everything. So, yeah, we'll just kick right into it try to win i feel like we will if i remember it seems like charlotte's easier in this game with the the, the oval <laughs> so it, it may be the case i don't know but we're gonna go into this and try to try to win like we do pretty much every race that i think i have a chance to win except for martin's will be that because that was a that was that, that wasn't canon that was filler Off turn four, kind of a little shitty there on the exit, but we'll come across the line with a 31 2, 7 tenths off, and that's 13th. That could have gotten a little bit better out of that. Yeah, I could have gotten inside the top 10. I just kind of messed that up there in three and four. But 
Not bad. So we'll be 13th. Okay, good, good, perfect. So we're, again, sliders, it's at an 8. I could probably go 9 if I wanted to because trucks are really just tight. So, I don't know. But I know Harrison Burton, we're drafting buddies. I know, at Charlotte. I don't know. I don't know what he thinks, but the one, that's a wonder, that's wonder why he doesn't win because he tries to bump draft people at a mile and a half. <laughs> okay, so 6 laps. And Ross Chastain with a pretty Ross Chastainian block there. I'll give him a lot of little props to that. So we might have to pit at the end of the stage. You may not. I don't know what the AI will do. I would imagine everybody would. So, yeah. Truck and qualifying, like, it had speed. A couple very comfortable. I liked it. So just got to get through the traffic here. I think we definitely have top five speed. I mean, we, we got, like, 13th in qualifying there. Kansas and we got it here as well but that's even with m making a pretty crucial mistake in the corner so this thing has more better performance than Kansas so I'm looking forward to this I mean we're already moving up through the field and it's sucking it's pulling out all the innuendos you can think of it does and it does very freaking well and Crafton just gift wraps me in the bottom lane will gladly take it move ourselves up to sixth him for no good reason at all just to make him get mad at me in a tweet which is very deserved honestly because I just that was really oh god I'm Tyler Ankrum I'm sorry that was that was a clown move like that was an absolute clown move on my part I he didn't deserve that he's too beautiful oh well, there we go to the inside Dylan Lupton will kind of make the pass it was kind of shitty but Actually, it was bad enough. Oh, God. Hello, crap. Oh, God. Three wide. Three. <laughs> Thank God for no pinballing. I, could, I was going to die three different times there, but the pinball didn't happen. That was nice. And we'll just take the bottom right away from Crafton. That was pretty slick, though. Not going to lie. That was a pretty slick way to get the spot. And I think that'll be it for us in the stage. I mean, once we get him, I think that's about where we're going to just settle in. It's just fourth. So I'll take it. Considering we started 13th, that's still a... Never mind. Harrison Burton has to has to show off and prove me wrong. Through three and four, we were actually closing in on Friesen, surprisingly, but not enough time. We'll take fifth. We'll be on the inside line, which is actually perfect. But then again, our pit crew may just put us in the lead here, so I I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see. Well, they yeah, they're gonna pay. Okay, so four tires and fuel for ourselves. And yeah, I I called it. I called it. We got the lead. Now let's try to pull away. I don't know if we can, but I'm going to try. Well, like a lot of these mile and a half, we do lead a few laps and we lose it right away. So the cycle kind of continues in a way. I'm trying to slide draft them, pull them back, but it didn't really work. But it lasted four laps, so that's a little bit better than usual. We may actually get them back. I'm not quite sure, but we do have an extra lap in the stage, so that may give us a chance to get by them. But for right now, I'm just going to focus, try to maintain second, and just wait. Or the stage can end and ruin all of that. Never mind. God damn it. Well, everybody's going to pit again, I would imagine. And they do. So, it is going to be interesting because we can make it about 11 laps. But I don't even know if my tires can make that. So, maybe two stops for me? It'll be close if it goes green. That's the thing. Like, if it goes green all the way, that could be interesting. But that doesn't always happen. So, we'll pit here. And probably get first. And we will. We'll lead probably like four laps. And we'll go back to second. Just like stage two. A couple laps that went by. It's been about four laps. This is usually the point where I lose the lead. So we've been holding our own not too badly. And there goes Brett Moffat. He, he had enough. He finally got by me. So I tried. I just, oh, it's just frustrating. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's happened so many times in that exact sort of way. It's uh, just annoying. Was staying just about at seven tenths of a second. Now it's went down to six, so we're closing. We're closing in. So that's good. Yeah, we're close. All right, now okay, now it's starting to. That's good. That's good. It's getting worried there. I wasn't sure when it would kick in, but I, I it's uh, it's kicked in now. So we'll pit within the next couple laps. Our tires, my God, are just just shredded at this point. So we cannot pit now. We have to stay out as long as we can to make it to the end on fuel. We'll retake the lead. 
and we'll try to build the gap on Moffat as much as we possibly can, just in case something crazy happens, so that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to put this lap. I can't stay out any longer than I need to. I mean, this thing is going to blow a damn tire very shortly, so we cannot skimp out. I think it's going to hit one on fuel. Oh, God, that's... That's not what I want to do, is get sideways on worn tires and potentially blow it. Like, that's literally, that's that's a double entendre, because blow it in that sense and then blow it in, like, the tire sense. So that's cute, but, yeah, we're going to head down pit road. Try to be careful with it. 3%, 45, and there we go. 41 miles an hour, just under the speed limit. And uh, two tires, four, four cans of fuel. Full can of fuel. Four tires. I can't believe I messed that up twice. 13.3 on the stop. Pit crew are pretty damn quick, my lord. Well, that explains why we always gain spots under the pit cycles, but... Yeah, we'll be out in the way, and that's a huge gap we just put on everybody. Well, we got 12 in the fuel, 9 in the brace. That's, I think uh, our tires will be good. I'm just not sure. That's the only thing I'm not 100% on is... Will the tires hold out? We'll retake the lead by a, a margin I don't even want to look at because I'm scared. But that is a that's a disgusting, girthy, R-rated lead. Seven seconds. Seven seconds. Oh my lord! I'll take it. I don't care. I'll take it. It's just it's that's that's damn. They're closing in a little bit. It was 7 seconds last lap and then 6.6. .6. So they are closing. Again, not gonna matter. Even if they do gain 4 tenths a lap, it's, that's just... It's not a problem at all for us. Oh, of course. It, of course, it just can't go green. It just can't go green. Well, it is gonna be a green-white checkered. So, tires are worn at this point. I, somebody blown up, of course. Or was it a wreck? I guess somebody blew a tire. Well, well, God damn it! But we should be good. I mean, we've been able to hold on to lead for a couple laps on these like initial starts, so we might actually have a chance here. Just, I just wished it went green. But well, two to go, and we're good on fuel. We're gonna be good on tires, barely. I mean, it's at forty-two percent, but yeah, we're just gonna haul ass and I I think we got it I, I think our truck is good enough that we can we can do this I right, just gotta focus be careful because Harrison Burton's right there and he's been leading the points and kind of doing well this season so I want to try to you know show him up if I can take it easy in turn three and she got through that pretty well we built a pretty good gap I think this is the point in the run where the tires is really we got the advantage so I think I think we'll be good yeah, we're good. White flags out, and oh my god, what are those tire marks on the track? You see that? I guess somebody blew a tire and did like, like fourteen forty thousand spins, and that's what attributed to the yellow. But then again, it was in turn three, so I don't, I don't know, I can't remember. But well, through three and four, our tires are worn. Twenty eight percent, my god, fourteen percent lost in two laps. But off turn four, we'll win the damn race and the war. I, <laughs> I'll take it. That was that was a good run. That was uh, that makes me feel happy. It makes me feel happy because I I needed that. We'll do a burnout. I don't know what why, but oh wait. Okay, I thought the grass would the truck would clip through because I remember that was a thing last year. So I thought that was going to be the thing again, but no, it's not. Hooray! And I'm I'm done. Well, here's the finishing results. Pretty standard top 10, no weird, bizarre names up there. So, uh, I don't know who blew up or, or what, but... Oh, well, there was, yeah, we pinned a lot of people lap down. But, yeah, we got good stage points, good everything, so we should close in on the, the point lead again. But earnings, that's going to be a lot. <laughs> 65,000, oh, 64,000. Really nice payday. And yeah, we're well, we're still third, but we did close in that gap. Brett Moff, I think, closed in a little bit too. I I don't know, but we actually got the most stage points this season. You mean to tell me Brett Moffat has five extra stage points? Damn, that's 
Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty damn good. We led the most laps with 20. So I've been kind of doing some fun math at home and like the, the lead lap counter, like comparing it to real life and what I have in the game. Obviously, as they do 25%, it's not going to be totally accurate unless you take my laps led and then times that by four or you take the laps led by the real life drivers and divide that by four and then you get like 25%. So I'm like in the top 15, like all, all time laps led or something doing that kind of math. So that's interesting. So... I don't know, it's just something to note. <laughs> but I think at this point now we surpassed Biffle and Truck wins with 17 or something, 18. I don't know what exactly. Another smooth driving. Not bad. And that was a solid race. That was a solid car. I mean, we, we tried to, our best to... No, we're not doing long games, all right? I, when, are, when are these drivers going to learn? Todd Gillen, see you brighten my day. I, I, I can live with that. Uh, I feel like I can tell... Since we were best friends, I feel like I can too. Provoke? <laughs> Boo-hoo, Matt Crafton. Last time I checked, Robin and I are going four-wheeling next week. But before that, I didn't take you out. Well, I did get into him. That was a pretty clown. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll apologize. That, that was on me. That, I forgot. Yeah, that was me. So, um, we're going to probably get our incentive contract, which is nice. And we have another truck race, and I believe that's going to be at Texas, which Texas is an insanely difficult game. Different, difficult track from what I've been told, so I don't know. We'll just try. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to put this stuff in and get everything we can out of the, out of the car. Though we're up dangerously close. Not dangerously close, we're about 100k away, 94,000 away to getting our 100 engine, which is kind of a big deal. So, yeah. So we'll go with our short track chassis. Uh, get that stuff ready too because we got Iowa coming up. So, um, yeah. We're not going to get go into Iowa with like a uh, maxed out arrow. It's going to be like 94, but it's going to be good here regardless. So, yeah, like that'll do it. I mean, I, I can't really think of anything else to do. We'll put Grandma on the super speedway for something that's not even going to be used until later in the year, just, just to give her some just give her some paycheck money. And yeah, that's it's looking good. I, I mean, it's like we're so close. We're almost there to maxing out the truck, and or at least the engine, which is kind of the, the big important part in this game. So yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there. I don't know if we'll get it next part, but Texas pays out a lot. So if we do somehow win, it's doable. But then again, we only got in fifth there, so I don't think it'll happen. But we're going to try, though. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters. The Dan Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave Evander, Champ 15, Alan Gray, Motorsports Games, Robert Dillon, Zach Page, and AspenNumberSite.org, and Bailey Curry for donation again. I can't thank guys enough for contribution and support to the channel every single month. Like, this does me a lot. And like usual, I'm just very appreciative and just always really thankful for the support. I'll see you all next part for uh, Texas and Iowa. I have no clue how Iowa's going to be, but, um, well, maybe next part we'll get the engine upgrade. I I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, and, well, I mean, we do have the incentive contract, too, that we'll get after Texas. Well, as long as we get a top five, but, so that, that'll help, too, so we'll see. I will uh, see you all next part, and I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.